Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a Sunday on FIFA 22. Of course, the last day, actually, that these Foot versus Fire cards are in packs. Today on Sunday is their last day in packs because on Monday tomorrow, we are going to get the Ice versions. There's still a lot of uncertainty with how these cards are going to look. I think that might play into the market a little bit later into today on Sunday as well. But what I want to talk about in this video is more icon swaps news. I guess technically you would call them leaks because yes, we know that icon swap packs have been added to the code, but there's a little bit more information on some of the requirements that are leaked supposedly when those are going to be dropping. Now we don't know when icon swaps is going to be right. It seems like the, the objectives are leaked. It seems that the packs are in the code. So it could be anytime from today on Sunday into next weekend, or maybe at the very latest when the season ends, right? Season two ends, I believe in like 11 days. Some people are convinced that swaps is not coming out until the season ends, which I feel like would be a very long time since they do have the packs in the code. But I want to talk about that and also just the market in general, what content we could see today on Sunday. And a lot of the market's actually just starting to dip. And I want to take a look at a few reasons why the market's kind of trending downwards on this game right now. So if you're enjoying the videos on the channel, make sure to hit a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you are brand new. That is greatly, greatly appreciated. So let's take a look at a couple things. First thing is the icon swaps news, right? Of course, as you guys know, as you guys know, we have had the packs that have been added to the code. We talked about this a couple days ago when it was added. This just signifies icon swaps is basically inbound, right? Because these are all different types of packs that you get from icon swaps. Now, yesterday, there were some tweets talking about the objectives, right? And this guy, Mitch Trading, has been very uh, reliable in terms of the leaks so far. And he says, elite squad battles objectives, 11 Brazilians, 11 Argentinians, silver players, and air divisi. Now, this wouldn't be all of the objectives, right? Of course, because there's some squad battle objectives for icon swaps. And then there's some uh, objectives that are completed in the friendly game mode. So these are just some of these um, that might be required. Again, leaks, we, we can't always believe in them, right? It seems the leaks so far have been pretty accurate, but we can't always believe in these 100% until we actually see what is happening. But these the leaks have been pretty spot on so far. So we're kind of starting to think that this might be pretty true whenever icon swaps is dropped. Now, people have actually taken to heart with this information. And you take a look at a lot of Brazilian silver cards on the market, they are up. I think the cheapest Brazilian silver card is like a thousand coins or like almost like 1200 coins right now on this game. If I go quality, let's go silver and we'll go Brazil. People are preparing for, look at this, even more than this, 1400 coins. Yeah, 1400 coins for any of the Brazilian silver cards. So people are preparing for icon swaps. Now, realistically, icon swaps in previous years um, has been dropped at the very end of a season, right? EA used to drop those when the seasons would end. But like we said, with all the stuff that's in the code, all the leaks that are coming out, it seems like it might be released before the season ends. And it could be uh, released under the milestones tab, of course, because if it was released inside of objectives, then in 11 days, uh, it would be removed and reset because that's when the objectives tab resets at the end of the season. And, you know, icon swaps is going to be much longer than 11 days. So, uh, it might be in the milestone tabs. It, it, seriously, though, we really have no idea when it is going to come Monday, right? If we don't see it today on Sunday or tomorrow on Monday, then my best guess would be that it is next weekend, right? With whatever promo is coming next after the versus, which seems like a one week promo. It seems like this versus promo is just a one week as it doesn't say anything about two different teams. Of course, we kind of already have two teams as a part of this promo with the fire and the ice versions, as you can see here. But that's kind of the news for icon swaps, right? Now, a lot of the icon market is still very, very low because, um, you know, of prime icons being searchable on the market, right? You can see all three versions of Philip Lom here. We're still waiting to know when prime icons are going to be released. That almost feels like to me that they might be waiting to release those. If we don't get prime icons today, for me, it would be something along the lines of they're maybe waiting until next weekend to do that, uh, which I know, I mean, a lot of us were hoping it'd be this weekend, but 
with icon swaps and prime icons both looming that has the icon market very very low i feel like i feel like we take a look at this index icon every single video now again 82 points on the index last uh last week and here we are on sunday we are at 72 points on the index and as i look at a lot of the icons that i normally watch to try to trade and, and uh flip on the market just stuff is so so low and i really don't think you're going to see any of this market start to rebound back up on the icon end of things until we see primes or until we see swaps dropped onto this game so that's kind of my feeling about that stuff again small chance for primes today i think it's like i would say it for prime icons i think those aren't going to be until next friday unless ea is going to really release a lot of stuff on monday when they release like the the ice team right which is going to be the exact same players since this promo is so confusing right <laughs> the exact same players that we had on friday in packs all of these guys are going to have an ice version in packs on monday we'll talk about that again a little bit more tomorrow um with those getting released then on monday um, but unless they're going to make a really big deal about Monday and put more cards into packs, I honestly think they might be saving prime icons for next Friday. That's just my hunch, but really EA can do whatever they want. We have no concrete evidence or concrete idea of what they might be doing. Now let's talk about more today on Sunday, right? Today on Sunday, Sundays, at least the past couple weeks haven't been really insane content days. Now yesterday, EA sports surprised me. EA sports surprised me with this flash. Uh, it's almost a flash SBC to be completely honest. A showdown called Dogbia and Lucas Vasquez. Now, this was leaked to come out last week, and I think in last night's video, I said, man, I'm not expecting this because 24 hours, the game is today. The game is today on Sunday, and they dropped uh, these SBCs on a 24 hour, like, all you have is one day to complete them. Of course, these are expiring today. A lot of people are liking this called Dogbia card. Of course, if Atletico Madrid can win today, this dude would look really saucy, right? I know his medium, medium work rates. A lot of people won't like that. But you give this guy a plus two boost if they were able to win. Atletico Madrid links, which are very, very good this FIFA as well. He's going to have 80 pace. He's going to be Hullet Gang, potentially 94 physical. I mean, this card is going to look insane if they do go ahead and win. So EA is really trying to play with your heartstrings here and play with your, your mind. Try to get you to get this FIFA card. It's not that expensive, right? It's about 100,000 coins. 84 and 85 rated squad um i'm t i'm technically gonna pass on this one just because if real madrid win uh this lucas vasquez card i mean most people if any are doing either of these showdown cards for the condogbia and especially if this coming out right after we had what a lot of people did already with the center defensive mid in Capu. um i don't know i i really feel like that not too many people are doing this sbc today but it does go in line and it does kind of fit in with what ea is doing with this promo i just didn't think yesterday that they were going to drop a uh showdown sbc for 24 hours before the before the game but ea sports ggs so if you're involved with uh vasquez or condogbia that game is going to be played today we, i would expect to see the winner of this game the card's probably going to be upgraded uh like you know at least 12 to 24 hours after the game they upgraded sule so fast they upgraded him uh, on the market after that game which happened last week in the midweek but for sbcs today on sunday um there's a couple things that we're still expecting that mertens sbc right mertens sbc is one that we are still thinking we might get in this game uh and then also some icons right i think some people are expecting icons to be released again the leak was baby Vieira and mid keen so two defensive midfield options in, inside of the icon sbc tab so some people are still expecting those cards to be dropped that could be today but i don't think they usually drop uh, icon player sbcs on a sunday that's just not what we're used to seeing but hey ea sports makes the rules so that could potentially happen and that mertens sbc i think mertens sbc might be the front runner for whatever content that we would have uh, for today since we didn't have a actual fire slash ice foot versus uh player pick yesterday on saturday today on sunday we might be seeing that now of course pulisic was a player pick if they release a mertens sbc i think that would be a player pick between the ice or the fire version as well if and when that sbc does get released now a couple things that we didn't cover yet we didn't cover road to the knockout upgrades i'm going to talk about those cards then we'll talk about the market in general rttk cards they got their upgrades a bit early 
uh, which was very interesting to see. Some of these cards are actually flying right now. Fred is one. I wouldn't say that he's really flying up in price. He's about 345,000 coins. He was 320 at his lowest yesterday. At the very most, a lot of these cards kind of got sold off and they had some fluctuations during the day, right? Uh, but Dan Juma is one of the only ones that has exploded post upgrade. So of course he got he was extinct at 55,000 coins. He got the upgrade late Friday night. Dan Juma went from 57k all the way up to the 84k range. He was like 93,000 coins about an hour ago where he's kind of come back down right now. I mean, this card looks really really good. Four star, four star. He got the double upgrade. Um and so yeah, I understand why that card is up. Gravenberch 82k. His card looks pretty saucy as well. Links to the objective Tagliafico, which a lot of people are, are uh, interested in. But like Fred, his price is just kind of chilled out. Hasn't moved a ton. Tonali is down. Of course, no upgrade for him. Delict, his card's looking really good. If you did the Delict SBC, I think you're pretty happy with that one. But Road to the Knockout cards, literally now how you can kind of view them they are like stagnant items. They're just like an inform, right? They don't, they're not going to get any other upgrades. Now, there was some very interesting information with this Sun card, and I actually traded with him yesterday. I ended up selling for a quick flip. I bought like five Suns when he went down here to like 260, and I actually sold when he went to like 310,000 coins. I sold a bit early, but he did. He is 330K now because this card is no longer going to get upgraded because Spurs are out of the Conference League uh, and they will not be going through, which sucks. No upgrades uh, and is, I guess you could kind of say, almost laughable for me being a Spurs fan. That's a lot of criticism, but we're used to it. So my Spurs fans stay strong. Uh, now we just don't have a you know midweek competition to make us tired. We can focus on the Prem, right? That's going to be our excuse, and that's what we're going to say. But that Sun card yesterday just got really low with the panic selling. Uh, and that's one thing that we know about these Road to the Knockout cards as well, is that they're very, very rare. So I bought five of these yesterday uh, at 260 to 270,000 coins. Sold those uh, above 300K for a nice flip. I bought a, a LOM last night at 1.2 flat. And again, just to show you and just talk about this market right now, again, stuff everywhere is down, right? With these cards having such a high pack weight, People are going out and they're trying them because these cards aren't that expensive, right? Uh, except for, you know, Valverde and Gabriel Jesus, you look at the rest of this team, you've got an insane card with this Claude Maurice uh, for 50,000 coins, right? 50K, which by the way, EA Sports, can you please add the card search uh, option here into into the transfer market search? Like I literally can't search Claude Maurice unless uh, I do this, right? 55K? And boom, there he is. So I have to do the special card quality type. I can't even search for the actual versus fire card design. This guy was actually under 50K like 20, 30 minutes ago. We had some late night uh, lightning rounds. I think it was like, uh, what was it? 9, 10, and 11 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, which is very early morning hours for the UK watching this video. A lot of these prices dropped off a little bit more. I think Mbabu's 70K at the moment. That is crazy cheap. And Babu for 70,000 coins seems absolutely wild to me. These cards are really cheap, right? And they have a really high pack weight. And I think that is one of the things you can look at like Angel Correa, right? Angel Correa was just under 300,000 coins. Yesterday, these cards did really well from Friday night into Saturday. These cards did really, really well on overnight flips, right? Correa went from 315, 320 all the way to 370. Um, let's see, what was another one? Uh, the the Claude Maurice card that we were just looking at, he was uh, he was low tonight, and I think people are trying to buy this up again for a Saturday into Sunday flip. They're trying to make this work. Last night, Claude Maurice, I actually bought a few at um, 57, 58,000 coins last night, and he went up to 73K. So tonight he got down in like 47, 48,000 coins, and it looks like people are buying him up right now at the moment, hoping for that same rise to happen today on Sunday. Of course, we have squad battle rewards that are going to get released in the not so distant future. So that might supply these cards a little bit more. And then you never know when EA is going to run some random lightning rounds on this market. But I mean, Valverde is down a lot, 739k. Again, we talked about that Correa card. Uh, he is down a lot. Adama's 191. Kunde and Babu. Uh, I was just looking at Gabriel Jesus, right? I don't know if I'm really going to try to flip any of these cards overnight tonight. Maybe if I did, it'd be one of the rare ones or maybe Angel Correa. But Jesus was just 1.25. 
Uh, there's a 1-3 flat, but there's not very many of these cards to 1.4 mil. So, again, Gabriel Jesus, one of the cards that actually got a legit skill move upgrade as a part of this promo. Five-star skills. Kind of hoping that the Ice version might have that five-star weak foot. But since these cards are cheap, I want to take you through some prices right now where th the rest of this market just looks like it's it's kind of headed downwards, right? Especially with icon swaps on the horizon. Um you know, people are trying out these brand new items and we're still in a pretty high market post Black Friday. Look at Messi. Messi was 440,000 coins. And before this weekend, he's now down to 416,000 coins. Ronaldo, Gold Conte, Gold Mbappe actually with a pretty big drop off. 1.29 for Mbappe's card or about 1.3 mil. What was he yesterday? He was 1.33. So, and even entering the weekend, he was about 1.39. So, some of these cards on this weekend have dropped off. Ronaldo's under 600,000 coins. Neymar has taken a huge hit, but that's because of Vinny Player of the Month. Vinny Player of the Month is single-handedly destroying this Neymar card, um, as I think there's really a lot of people going out and doing this Vinny uh, SBC. The Pulisic SBC as well, another left wing that is impacting the market. So honestly, today on Sunday, for this is what we saw last week with the Team of the Group Stage cards. I remember specifically um, a lot of the Team of the Group Stage cards with more lightning rounds coming today on Sunday and with you know weekend league rewards coming out early Monday morning. I would expect to see a lot of the versus fire cards. And even tomorrow on Monday, we have the brand new versus ice cards coming onto the game. I might expect to see a little bit of a drop off on a few more of these cards um, later on tonight, Sunday night, right? It depends on the content, but I do think we're going to get more lightning rounds and EA is dropping lightning rounds just super randomly um, to, to get that bread, I guess you could say. So that's supplying these cards even more. And since they have such a high pack weight, I really just see nowhere but down for the short term future. Uh, and with the ice cards coming into packs as well, I think it's really going to come down to how the ice cards look. If the ice cards look really good, then you might see some of these, some of these cards go down further. Um, if the ice version looks better than the fire, we'll just have to see. But if the fire version is the best one, then maybe we'll see some of those rebound back. But that's kind of what we're going to be looking towards on Monday. So today on Sunday, maybe the Mertens SBC, another um, of the another of the versus player SBCs could be dropping today on this game. Maybe an outside shot for an icon SBC um, and maybe even an icon upgrade SBC, right? It, it just seems like the content so far, this promo has been decent. It's been all about like versus though. So I don't know if icon swaps or maybe even an icon SBC, like do they try to, do they try to promo a mar <laughs> like an icon SBC as like Vieira versus Keen, right? Like those two SBCs versus each other. I, I don't know if they're going to try to do something like that. That'd be a little corny, but that could be, I guess, one tactic they use since this whole versus promo is about like it says here uh rivalries so we will see icon swaps i don't think it's going to be today either tomorrow on monday or next week if they do drop it though today i think that's going to make the market fall even more right the market is down but i think it would make the market drop more if we continue to have the leaks and we continue to hear the information about potential icon swaps being released when it actually does drop um you know you might see some icons actually rebound back when icon swaps drops like this Vigos 400k that is so low like this Lom again I sold him yesterday at 1.32 you just saw me add one of the transfer targets a bit ago for 1.24 so and there's so many overnights at 126 so I really do think that you're going to see uh prices stay low uh, through this promo because uh, the pack weight in these brand new cards is so good and they're really usable and they're pretty meta and there's new cards that are coming out um, on Monday with the ice version so we'll talk a bit about more with that tomorrow but for today I just expect expect a little bit more of a drop more lightning rounds more supply and we'll see if EA drop anything crazy uh, in terms of stuff that we aren't expecting but that's kind of the Sunday market video for a lot of you guys Today, I hope you're doing well. I hope your foot champs run is going well if you are playing. I elected not to play this weekend because I feel like I, I even saved my team of the week pack because this week's team of the week is absolutely doo-doo. I feel like there's not much of a reason to play just for packs or if you have time to play it, which I didn't. So not regretting that decision at all. But we have made a couple good trades. Hopefully we can make some more today on Sunday, get this coin total closer and closer to five mil. Of course, with a lot of other things. Can I just go on the record and say that this Schultz card uh, he right now he has 19,000 coins, 92 pace for a um, a Schultz card that is a one of two legit usable left backs in the Bundesliga. I don't care how how crazy his pack weight is. 
I would almost guarantee you that under 20,000 coins for this card with 92 pace, with the Sule SBC that just came out, with German left back in the Bundesliga links being valuable year long in this game, uh, this card is going to be used. And I think 20K is stupid cheap, right? I mean, to be completely honest, if this goes any lower than like 18, 17,000 coins, just buy one and put on your transfer list because I feel like in a month, it's going to be 25K, to be, to be completely honest. Because 92 pace left back in the Bundesliga, Dortmund and German links. Uh, and so I think that's really, really cheap for a solid card, for a solid card. Again, again, if the freeze or if the ice card comes out and it looks even better for some reason, then maybe this one goes even cheaper, but who knows? I just think that price is really, really cheap for a really usable card. And that's just what this promo is, right? Claude Maurice looks cracked. It's 50,000 coins and Babu 72 K, right? So that's just the name and the game of this promo with the pack weight being as high as as it is so that's the video for today boys again if you did enjoy smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new it's been nathan foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace out